Hi there, welcome back to Books and Tea with Sarah. I'm yours truly, and today I'm drinking Mother's Little Helper by David's Tea while I talk about all the books that I want to get to in the month of August. Now this is definitely an ambitious TBR pile, so these are really just the books that I'm going to choose from while I decide what to read during August. First up are the books that I'm currently reading that I started during the month of July, the first one of which is Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. So I started this book years ago and I couldn't get beyond the first chapter because the girls were just so petty, but after finishing the TV series I decided I would give it another shot because I am interested to see where the books went with the storyline since the TV series didn't really make sense in the end. So far I am surprised at how well the books are actually written and while I don't like the girls as much as as I did in the TV series, I'm still somewhat enjoying the book. Hopefully I finish this one soon and I can give you all my thoughts on it. Next up I have I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. I was supposed to read this book last month for a Pick It For Me challenge for the Goodreads group that I'm a part of, but I just wasn't getting into the nonfiction. I'm only about 30 pages into it, but hopefully I feel a lot more motivated because I am wanting to put a little bit more nonfiction into my reading. The next book I started in July was The Stand by Stephen King. I've actually been listening to this book on audio and I've been enjoying it so far despite the fact that I'm getting a little lost on some of the storylines because there are so many to follow. It is a very long audiobook and I only listen to it on my commute so hopefully I'll finish it by the end of August. I think I will because I'm almost halfway through it so I should be able to finish it. And the last book that I started during the month of July was Summer Days and Summer Nights edited by Stephanie Perkins. This is a collection of short stories and I've been enjoying just reading it off and on in between books which is part of the reason I haven't finished it yet because I don't I didn't read it in one sitting but I think with the Tome Topple readathon I'll be a lot more motivated to read some of these in between the long books that I have planned. All right so let's get to the new books that I hope to get to this month. As I said before Tome Topple, a readathon hosted by Sam at Thoughts on Tomes, is taking place over the next two weeks which is actually quite fortuitous because I'm going on a short five or six day vacation during that time so I'll have hopefully a lot of reading time. So the first book that I want to read is Feast for Crows by George R.R. Martin. This is the fourth book in the A Song of Ice and Fire series and I really don't have too much more to say about this. I've been putting it off. It's been in a few videos recently as my up next book and with Tome Topple I really don't have an excuse to put it off any longer. So following that I obviously have A Dance with Dragons by George R.R. R. Martin which is the next book um, and the most recently published book in the series. I really want to get these two books read even if it means I don't read any other books during this month and I hope that Tome Topple will help me with that because then once I finish them I'll be happy to catch up on the series despite the fact that the series has gone beyond the published books and then I'll actually be able to watch the show with my boyfriend which he's been bugging me about for the last couple months. So things don't always go initially as planned and I don't always want to read the books that I initially set out to read. So I have a couple of books to give me some more options during the readathon. The first of which is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Now, this book is only 491 pages, not 500, which is a requirement for Tom Topple, but I kind of had to put it on this list. It's a really big book that I've been putting off, and my Goodreads group is reading it for the current quarter. So I kind of just had to add it to this list so that once I read it, I can discuss it with the people in my Goodreads group, which is one of my favorite things about reading. And the other book that I have to choose from is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I've heard some mixed things about this book, especially that it's really confusing and difficult to get into, which is part of the reason I've been putting it off, but I really enjoyed the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and I just really hope to get to this one soon. So Tom Topple is a great motivator for putting it at the top of my TBR. So I do have a few more library books that I should probably get to this month so that I don't have to renew them yet again, but I don't really want to talk about these books in here just because I know that I'm probably not going to get to them and I'm probably just going to renew them and read them in September. So that's it for the books that I'd like to get to during the month of August. I hope that I'm able to read a lot during my time off despite the fact that it is rather short for a vacation and will be visiting family. All in all, I'm pretty excited to get reading this month, especially with how well last month went. I really hope that I will beat my page count from last month. Let me know if you plan to read any of these books this month or what you thought of them if you've already read them. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more bookish content from me. Until next time, I'll talk to you all in the comments. Bye!